have a very exciting thing to announce. This video was actually sponsored by Notion. I know. I don't I don't even know how that happened. Thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring. I've been using Notion for years, like at least three years throughout like high school. About this entire video. So there's gonna be a tour, basic Notion skills if you are a complete beginner. And then the third part I think is the most important. If you're not interested in the rest of the video, please still watch the third one because I genuinely think it is so helpful. It's about digital note taking and it is literally like my biggest academic secret. It literally changed my entire study game. What I really like about Notion, it's completely free. There is a premium version, but the, even the free version, there's no ads. Like, there's literally no ad. It just feels like the most productive space. You get, like, a lot of amazing features. Welcome to my Notion. This is the main page. It is called the IB Grind. I'm an IB student. This is a template that I got off of Reddit. You can find a lot of Notion templates. You don't need to make them yourself. You can go out and find other templates, use those and edit them. You got your own personalized Notion without putting in too much effort. This is, I believe this is the one I found. This is exactly how I did everything. Literally my IB page. See, you can duplicate this one and then that will be on your own. It's gonna be on your own page and you can do whatever you want with it. That is how I did my Notion. I have this cover with like little hearts and this Rilla Kuma PNG. Usually when I'm lazy, I just pick a random emoji because it looks really cute as well. This is like the main page that I use in general. It like, it just has some IB websites that I could probably use in past papers. Or I have cast, I can't open the cast tab, it has some personal stuff in there. This is the TOK page, not that much. Extended essay, again, not that much in there. Then here we have the subjects. This is where all this stuff is happening. I sorted, I love the list view. I think it looks so cool. There's just two sections, standard level and higher level. It's just a really nice overview. And then I have my subjects. I actually have notes mostly in business and economics. In economics, I have so, so many notes. My entire textbook is made into like study sheets, flashcard format for main topics and then the chapters. And those are just some notes that I took. So we have so many notes and I would do exercises in here as well. If there's way too many things to write in a subject, then I would write on Notion digitally instead because if I had to write that by hand, my hand would like fall off. Again, for business, I have so, so many notes. This doesn't look like a lot, I know. The amount of stuff that there is in business to learn is insane. Like, Insane. It's very organized though. I highly, highly recommend to take notes on Notion. If there's a subject they need to write a lot for, do it on Notion. So these are empty actually, completely empty, but I will use them once I have the IA. German, these I have flashcards in there, like all the topics, and I would write practice texts inside Notion. I love this feature of like toggling things. It's so helpful. This is actually how I make flashcards. You would have like different topics. Really recommend this method in general, like not just for German, like for any subject. This is my favorite like study hack is making flashcards on Notion. Under each bullet point, I would like toggle. It is like a toggle thing and you can open it and close it and it has all the information in it. So when I close it, I'm just left with these bullet points. And as you can see, I also write down amount of content, like the amount of bullet points within each of them, like three, seven, three. And then I can just look at these topic recall. It's like active recall, the information, either write it out or like I just talk to myself and then I go in and check with the information that is actually there. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I forgot this. I do that all the time for revision. It is so, so helpful. Highly recommend this method. It works for almost any subject. So that is most of my Notion. That's what I use Notion for in general. It is the best place to do this kind of study stuff. If you want to really utilize Notion, you can like, learn to code and like make really complicated things in there it is truly like so good like you, you can do so much with it i just don't like do anything too complicated because I, I don't it's not like i code it is a really powerful study weapon let me do a little like tutorial on how to do the basic things okay use notion on your phone on your on your ipad on literally anywhere it is available on almost all devices first of all this is how you create a page you click on add page let's create a little page name i like using 
an emoji like literally any one of those let's do this one it's cute another thing you could do is just pick a random pictures from anyone add cover you can find pictures on notion or find another random picture from anywhere else for commands what you usually use you put like the little slash okay so there's as you can see there's an insane amount of things that you can do this these are the ones i use most frequently I use like a heading the heading one is the biggest heading two is medium and the heading three is the smallest i usually do heading two and then i would have a subheading in in heading three 1.1 year mom that's that's our sub chapter there we go you can do a little to-do list clean room your mom and you can take them off and they get crossed out i really like using this page it just creates a new page inside your page it's a page within a page this is where i do exercises when i have like a little homework exercise page one two three and then i would write the exercises in there there's these i bullet points and then you get bullet points and then you get numbered lists i use those a lot to organize information and then this is my favorite feature that i mentioned it's the toggle so you can make a little title and then write the definition in there that's sort of how i do flashcards then what is a mitochondria it's the powerhouse of a cell boom that's how you can do flashcards so simple those are the very very rudimentary basic features that i use in notion this is all i use and i think this is all you would really need it's about the content within the notion it doesn't have to be like super fancy coding in my opinion you just need it organized space and you can use the basic building blocks in notion to have a really organized note system these are my two main textbooks like business and economic let's just not talk about how i got them a girl has to do what she has to do you know how i structure the notes is based off of like contents table five topics and then all these business management tools but this is now my business page i did the five topics and the business management tools which is exactly how it looks like in my syllabus under each topic i would have the different chapters most of these pages are empty because we haven't covered those but the ones we have covered i already wrote the chapter name in there so i do know which ones we have covered and which ones not it's also a great way to track how far you are in to the syllabus and i also have the business management tools we haven't done everything and the ones that i haven't done they're empty i didn't even put like the icon in there yet i'll just make a little demonstration on how i would do that like let's say for example a page like this i'll add it to my list let's just say we have two chapters and i'm gonna turn them into headings of course and then press the slash button to make the thing where you can pick out different things scroll down and then you can see this section where you can make two columns three columns however many you want we have these two chapters so there's these two so you can just put your chapters into the two columns so we have chapter one chapter two press the slash again we're gonna do another thing we're gonna make a list view and make another list view here then we have two of these when you first get the list view then it asks you to select a data source which means you can transfer uh, other data that you already have into this one if we're creating a new one then just create new data database if you don't have a title then just hide the title i usually do that then you have the pages already and that's where you can put all your titles and like this will be chapter one of topic one let's say i want to take notes on this i would zoom out first of all so now i have the page and then i would go on the screenshot tool and i would just take a screenshot the reason i screenshot instead of just copy pasting the words like this is that it's more accurate when i screenshot it and you'll also see another reason of why i do this later you can do this which is literally the best thing in the world. I love this feature. If your MacBook can do this, please start utilizing that feature because it's so good for note taking. So at the start of each chapter, I would have this overview, which is precisely taken from here. It says like the contents of each chapter. Wow, I'm so good at typing. Content page, I can just copy paste it in and I would make it into like a numbered list. There goes my contents page. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in. And sometimes I would have things happen like there's this big O in there. I would just delete it. Just press the delete key and then it's easier for me to highlight it. So this is my first chapter, organizational structure, and I would number it 
based off of this list that I created at the top and I turn it into heading two because that's like a big header and I just repeat the same process. Here's the next one. Delete parts of the thing that I don't need and just highlight what I do need. This is the next page where it continues. We're going to do the same thing with the other side and if I have little figures like this for example then I can copy paste it actually into Notion. You can embed the pictures in there. Ta-da! And there it is. So you don't even have to worry about the graphs because you can literally just fetch them from the textbook and they're in there. This is how I take notes. And you might be wondering, like, why don't you just use this stupid textbook? Why do you have to reformat it into your notes? I don't just copy paste things in there. Once I copy paste it, I read the entire thing and I edit the entire thing. If there's redundancies, I would take them out. The end results, they're like summarized versions of what the actual textbook is i would have bullet points to make it easier for me to study the different points and make little lists it would be easier for me to view everything once i have distilled it into these kinds of notes right now it just looks like the textbook but messier once i do edit these things it comes out looking really really organized really efficient and it's also really helpful for learning because instead of just passively reading the information i am reading highlighting deleting things I don't need and then I also am creating a study guide while I am reading it. It's like two birds with one stone. So this is literally my academic weapon. Hopefully that helps you. So yeah, that's the basics of Notion. There is truly so much you can do with this. Thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring. I don't know how the study website that I've been using for the past three years found my YouTube channel, but thank you so much. I genuinely do really love Notion. I use it all the time. Even like if they didn't sponsor, like I'm using it. All my notes are there. <laughs> so that was it. I hope that was helpful. I know this wasn't super, super in depth. It's just because my understanding of Notion is not like super deep either. And I'm not like good at coding at all. I have no knowledge of coding. So yeah, thank you for watching.